It's time for Coach's Corner on KCCR and online at kccr.com. Coach's Corner is brought to you by Todd's Electric, James Pharmacy, Lamb Motors, Avera, Hawaii Federal Credit Union, and Edward Jones Financial. Coach's Corner is also brought to you by Graham Tire, Kruger Contracting, CHS River Plains, Gales Gas, Bank West, and Capital City Ford, Lincoln, and Toyota. From the KCCR Studios in Pier, KCCR award-winning sports director, John Winkler. And we welcome you here inside the KCCR studios for Coach's Corner on this Wednesday evening. John Winkley here as the, uh, we will talk with Steve Seal, the White Capitals, coming up in just a little bit, as well as also Matt Thorson, the Pier Girls Wrestling Team, as we'll have those two on the program. Shorter program tonight. Uh, unfortunately, things out of our control are unable to, to get uh, all the coaches that we were hoping to have, but that is you know the, how it goes sometimes, which is fine. And we will talk with the two coaches and Steve Steele and uh, Matt Thorson coming up here in just a little bit. We'll have... We'll talk with Steve Steele next. That'll be coming up next here on Coaches Corner on KCCR and online at kccrradio.com. As community bankers, BankWest employees are deeply committed to supporting local causes, growing the local economy, and creating local opportunities. At a time when you can bank anywhere, we hope you choose BankWest. We'll be your financial partner for the long haul, helping you and your community achieve financial success. Bank West. Convenient. Connected. Committed. Member FDIC. Most of us already know that Gales Gas of Pier is the place to call for propane. They offer an automatic fill plan so you never have to worry about running out of propane. They accept debit and credit payments or a budget payment plan to spread out the cost throughout the year so you never have surprises when you get your bill. For delivery, convenience, and great customer service, call Gales Gas at 224-5518. That's Gales Gas at 224-5518. Look, it's no secret that owning a vehicle can cause a lot of stress, and they get a lot of wear and tear on them through every season. Graham Tire wants you to know that you can trust them with any problem that you have with your vehicle. They have fully trained ASE certified mechanics on staff ready to handle it for you. From brakes and bearings to alignments and front ends, let their experience work for you. Over 50 years combined means you can count on them. So if it's time for a transmission flush or even a simple oil change, the only name you need to know is Graham Tire, 421 West Sioux Avenue in Pierre. Hey, hey you, are you at a job that is fulfilling, has good benefits to support you or a family today, and retirement goes down the road? If you just said no, listen up. CHS River Plains is hiring operations personnel, drivers, and custom applicators at several locations. These come with a knockout affordable benefit package for you and the whole family. Apply to a job with CHS River Plains and up your benefits straight up. To apply, visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in at one of our locations. CHS is an equal opportunity employer. People helping people. Have you ever wondered what the benefits are of becoming a Wahi Federal Credit Union member? At Wahi Federal Credit Union, we reinvest profits in you. We do this in the form of lower interest rates, higher dividends, and low to no fees. So come check us out or come in at 221 East Pleasant Drive in Pier. Because at Wahi Federal Credit Union, we treat our members like they own the place because, well, they do. Hawaii Federal Credit Union. Score big on your next vehicle purchase with Lamb Motor Company in Oneida in Gettysburg, Lamb Chevrolet and Implement in Oneida, and Lamb Auto Sales in Pier. Check out their large selection of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs at any one of their locations or go online to lambmotor.com. That's L-A-M-B-M-O-T-O-R.com. Or give them a call today at 800-952-2222. Lamb Motor Company of Oneida in Gettysburg, Lamb Chevrolet and Implement in Oneida, and Lamb Auto Sales in Pier. Let me talk to you. You're listening to Coach's Corner on Central South Dakota's sports leader, KCCR. Yeah. As we welcome you back to Coach's Corner here on KCCR and online at kccrradio.com. Joining me is Coach Steve Steele. Uh, the Capitals go 1-2 and two this past weekend. And uh, overall, before we kind of break into all three of these games, uh, the biggest takeaway from, from the weekend. Well, you know, I think there was a lot of positives to take away. Um, you know, I think we, we showed that we can play with the best in the state. 
Um, you know, obviously we fell short on Saturday and Sunday, but uh, you know we, we had a lot of really really good things. So um, lots to build for or build on, and um, you know it's just time to get a new streak going. You guys said full week off, basically two weeks off before playing here on with the weekend being uh, postponed against Brookings, and so then you take on here on Friday, win win seven nothing, and. Uh, the, the rust that could have been shown, you know, anything that could have maybe gone wrong could have gone wrong in that game, but you guys are very solid. You know, Jackson Youngworth had a third straight shutout, broke the uh, association record for the longest shutout streak. Being able to do that after a two-week break was a was a good sign to see from the start of that weekend. Yeah, it really was. And, and again, there's there's no such thing as an easy shutout. You know, I mean, it's it's there's the amount of things that can happen in a hockey game, uh, fluky goals, just bad luck on a on a breakaway. You know, anything can happen that breaks a shutout. So to be able to string, you know, three of them in a row is, is very impressive for Jackson. And uh, you know, I think after Friday, we'd had I think only a goal in the last like four or five games. So you know, it's been really good defense uh, to see being played in front of the goalies, and then really great confidence back there from the goalies. Well, one of the things that uh, so many different things that happened in a hockey game. One of the goals from Brookings went off of a Capitals player, off of a shoulder, and in the back of the net when the shot was going well wide, and and that was kind of it wasn't early in the game that it happened, but kind of the signal of how things were going for you on Saturday and. Overall in that game, you know, you, you and I talked about in the post game show that there was still a lot to build off of the first two periods where you guys were four for four in the penalty kill, uh, had one for one in the power play, had the game tied two to two, and then when you know you, you have to kill off nine penalties in the third period, it makes it a little bit difficult to try and hang in that game, but but a lot still to take from from that Brookings game. Yeah, you know, and there's there's so many different good things. I mean, again, just to know um, the style that Brookings plays, you know, with such sound positioning and and scheme and all those things to be able to stick with it uh, and, and match that you know in terms of positioning and uh, you know that was a really good well-fought hockey game for two periods and um, you know really it wasn't until the special teams really became a part that that changed and then Sunday obviously how the, the, the game was frustrating whether it was good bad indifferent it was it was a frustrating end to that night on Saturday and then you go into Sunday and it's easy then to let that carry over into Sunday but you guys didn't let that happen uh, from your eyes too that especially that first period when the things were tied one to one and you, you take away the second period it's a two one hockey game outside of that third that second period but overall it, it was a good rebound although the wind wasn't there as a good rebound especially in that first period on Sunday yeah and it's you know it's a challenge I mean it's by far our most challenging weekend so far you know having to play those two teams back to back um, you know and I, you definitely could see the legs were a little tired by the end of their probably the middle of the game there on Sunday um, and you know again it's a it's a game of chances you know we had a couple great opportunities to go ahead two to one um, that, that we didn't capitalize on and then uh, you know, shortly after one of them, they go down and score and, and do go up two to one. So, you know, it, it's a big thing keeping momentum on your side. And, and when you get those opportunities against those top teams, that you've really got to find a way to put it in. Well, now you get the weekend off again. This one playing, not uh, anything that will be postponing uh, any anything like that. But uh, how do you handle now a full weekend off and know, and knowing that it's on the schedule? Not you're not, you were preparing for Brookings a couple weeks ago, and then you had the weekend off. Now you have nothing going on this weekend. How do you? practice this week then going into next week yeah you know we we knowing this was coming uh you know we, we've got player meetings that we're going through some of the stuff and then just trying to you know kind of find the things that we need to improve on the most you know this is going to be a week where we really kind of back off looking at other opponents and teams and, and anything like that and and really just focus on ourselves you know focus on our own uh deficiencies that we see that we need to improve upon and then uh you know again some of the just building into muscle memory some of those new things that we've been doing the last couple of weeks and, and hopefully that we can make them happen a little bit quicker and you're past the halfway point but basically still at the halfway point of the season game wise uh do you like where you're at in the standings obviously you love to be undefeated right now no no team doesn't want to be undefeated but overall what what do you like the spot that you're at you know what what's what do you think about the the spot in the standings at fourth place right now obviously games in hand kind of factor a little bit but where, where do you what do you like about where you're sitting at yeah you know I think we're we're in a pretty good spot you know I mean in a, more than anything I think we're starting to play better and better um, as the season goes on which is always the goal um, but you know it kind of looks to be a two-horse race at the top um, you know and outside of that I think it's wide open so you know I think anywhere past two is, is available for really a group of about five or six teams and uh, you know I hope we're, we're hoping to finish at the top of that group um, you know and put ourselves in the best situation heading into the state tournament now on a personal note this coming weekend you get a chance to to watch your team your football team play so it's kind of nice that there is a a little bit of a break here because Sunday evening uh, can be all about a football team because the Lions are in the NFC championship and uh, I, I know you got to be 
it's, it's got to be a pretty good week for you uh, leading up to it. Pretty, maybe a little nerve-wracking. Maybe there's just all excitement going in against the, to, to watch your Lions play. Yeah, I mean, it's just all excitement. You know, it's all – it's brand new. You know, you, you, we've not – or at least I have not felt this ever. Um, you know, and talking to a bunch of my high school buddies back home, we're all just excited because it's – you know, we were – Growing up around the laughing stock, and you know, we remember the 0 16 team that Dan Campbell was actually a player on. Um, you know, so I mean, it's just you, you remember all those things, and uh, I remember them giving away free tickets uh, if you bought a meal at restaurants. They had that advertised growing up where you know, buy a meal and you get a free Lions ticket, you know, because they were so bad, and the paper bags and all those things. And it's cool to see how far they've come, and uh, you know, really impressive to see how well they've drafted and stuff with you know, I think pretty much their top four picks last year's starters, the two before that starters, and um, you know, it's, it's cool to see them build a team this way. And, and now, you know, ask your analysis of this game, what you like about the Lions' chances against the 49ers and what maybe, you know, without really breaking into film, what they need to do to try and get a win against the 49ers. Yeah, you know, if, if and this is going to be the challenging part, you know, in, in classic gamesmanship that they all would do is, you know, if Debo's 50-50, uh, and I think he's a really big X factor for what they do offensively in San Francisco just because he can – he's in the backfield, he's out receiver, they motion him through the backfield, into the backfield, and, you know, they really have a lot of athletes, you know, where he can do both. McCaffrey can obviously do both. Uh, Purdy's just been a great distributor of the football, and they've got Ayuk, they've got Kittle. Um, they just have so many different things they can do offensively that if, if Debo is not playing, I think that limits them uh, and can really help the Lions kind of fo- or hone in, you know, on one thing. Because um, again, if, if the Lions can can keep McCaffrey in check and enforce Purdy to have the throw, he he may still do it. But I like the odds a lot better than if they don't, if they can't force them to be one dimensional. Um, and you know, offensively, you know they they're a defense that doesn't give up a lot of rushing yards. Uh, they kind of did to Aaron Jones this last week, but that you know, if you look at the course of the season, it was pretty unique. Um, so I mean, you know, I think it's going to be one of those games where I think Goff's going to have to throw the ball, and, and I think Gibbs is that X factor. He, he was kind of the guy that came in as the change of pace and really blew a couple of those big runs open. Um, you know, I think he'll have the opportunity again to do that, but probably I'm guessing a little bit more in the receiving style. So during the fall, I I don't really ask you, but kind of somewhat ask you, you know, who would you like to play in the next round? And of course, as as any good head coach will do, you're not going to say you want to play one team or the other. But you don't get a chance to to do that right now because I'm going to ask you if you have to pick the Lions. Obviously, you want the Lions to win, but if you have to pick, what's the better matchup for the Lions in the Super Bowl, the Chiefs or the Ravens? Chiefs. The Chiefs. Well, well, why yeah. Why is that? Uh, have beat you them. watched the Ravens lately? Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yes, but yeah, I mean, in, in one way, it'd be cool this because they started the season. That was the first game. It'd be kind of a neat thing to have that be the last game of the NFL season. Um, but I mean, real. I mean, the Ravens are probably the most complete team I've se- I've seen in a long time. Um, they they completely dismantled the Lions when they played earlier in the season. It was ugly. Probably the worst. That was one of the games they were like, maybe we are the same old Lions. Um, you know, glad it wasn't. But uh, you know, they're just they're they're a really complete team for offense, defense. They can run, they can pass, they can do everything. Uh, the Chiefs, you just don't know. You just don't know. You know, you never know if Kelsey's going to be focused. You don't know if the other receivers are going to hold on to the ball or not hold on to the ball. Um, you know, and I think you can find a little bit more success against their defense consistently, at least, than you would against the Ravens. So, um, I, I, in my mind, as a fan, I'd much rather – I'd feel more confident with them playing the Chiefs. Um, but, you know, as a coach, I guess if I was their coach, I'd probably rather – play Baltimore and, and try and beat them, you know, knowing that they whooped us earlier in the year. And, of course, you know, as a fan of the Lions, doesn't matter who you play, if you make the, the Super Bowl, you're going to be pretty excited and, and still like the chance of your team to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, amen to that, amen to that. <laughs> uh, talk about Steve Steele here of the Hawaii Capitals. Again, weekend off, uh, they will get back to play the Pink the Rink uh, on Saturday, February 3rd. That's going to be their next game, uh, hosting Brand Valley at uh, 615. And so that's going to be the next thing, and obviously we'll talk more about that next week. But Pink the Rink, always a special occasion for uh, hockey teams to be able to, to host uh, a, a Pink the Rink type of night. And for the Capitals, no different. And it's always a, a fun atmosphere. And that's what you can you get to look forward to now. Not just a normal weekend game against any team or every team. It's going to be a special night. Yeah, it, it always is a special night. Um, you know, and it'll be a fun week of preparation to, to get into that. You know, it's almost kind of that equivalent of homecoming for football. You know, it's that one really, really special game. Um, so it'll be a fun atmosphere. It's always a great crowd and uh, should be a special day. Uh, so now, obviously, can't ask you what's going to be the biggest reason to get a win this weekend because there are no games. And we've kind of already Debo about- Samuel. 
Yeah, okay, there you go. That, that's that, that's the, the football side of things. But for the hockey side, what's the biggest thing that you guys need to do practice-wise to get better, to, to be better going into next week? Yeah, we've really just we've got to speed up our performance. You know, I think that uh, we're doing a lot of really good things right now. Uh, when we played, you know, Brookings and, and Rushmore this past weekend, I think we just saw that we've got to continue to get a little bit faster and quicker um, in our processing. So that's going to be a big focus this week. Well, Coach, I appreciate the time. It's good talking to you. I will say good luck this weekend, and, and hopefully that I know you'll be wearing your Lions jersey. Lions, well, everything Lions will be worn on uh, Sunday, and uh, we'll be looking talking to you next week and. Maybe we'll be talking some good about the Lions instead of talking about what could have been about the Lions. Yeah, thanks, John. That's head coach Steve Steele, the Wyatt Capitals. We'll return with more coaches going after this here on KCCR and online at kccrradio.com. Radio.com. This fall, take some time to think about your future. While the leaves make their way down to earth and the last sunset of summer leaves us with an autumn chill, it's time to grab the nearest foam finger and break out the face paint. Rush the stands with First Dakota National Bank and forget how to blink. All sports are back with jaw-dropping plays, an electric atmosphere, and epic scores. Make some noise with First Dakota National Bank. Open a new account online today at firstdakotanationalbank.com. Member FDIC. At Shane's Pharmacy, your health care is important, and Shane wants to be the pharmacist to take care of you. Shane's Pharmacy will make sure your prescriptions are filled in a timely manner, they will answer your questions, and they will even deliver to your home or office. Call 223-9200. Shane's Pharmacy, the pharmacy you know and trust. The number again is 223-9200. Shane's Pharmacy in Fort Pierre, proud to support high school athletics. Capital City Ford Lincoln Toyota is serving the Central South Dakota community and beyond with a great selection of used vehicles. Local trades and program vehicles are available. New Toyotas and new Fords are arriving and selling before they even hit the lot. So don't wait. Stop in and find out what's coming. If you've been thinking about ordering a new Ford, stop in and sit down with one of our sales specialists today. Capital City Ford Lincoln Toyota at 518 East Sioux Avenue and Pier. Call 605-224-7378 and visit CapitalCityFordToyota.com. Building a home. It's the biggest investment most of us make in a lifetime. Not to mention it's a decision that, well, you pretty much live with day and night. The quality of the workmanship stares back at you like a reflection. It also affects the value of your investment. Choosing the right contractor is critical. Kruger Contracting is that contractor. Call 222-2523. Quality workmanship and materials completed on time. Kruger Contracting. In a word, quality. Call 222-2523. That's a clown question, bro. You're listening to Coach's Corner on KCCR and online at kccrradio.com. As we welcome back to the Coach's Corner here on KCCR and online at kccrradio.com, joining me is Coach Matt Thorson of the Appear Girls Wrestling Team. And Coach, a successful Friday for you last week here at home. Uh, it's got to be nice to be able to be at home because you know wrestling is one of those sports where you don't get the home games like you do football or basketball or any a lot of other team sports where you guys are at home very few times. Mm -hmm. So what would you like? <clears throat> excuse me. What do you like about your team on Friday to get that tournament win? Um, you know, it was it was nice to be at home first of all, just because, like you said, we don't get to be home in front of our in front of our fans very often. So um, on top of that, you know, we had our our full squad out on the mat for the first time since beginning of December. Um, just battling a lot of illnesses, some injuries, things like that. So, you know, towards the end of January, you, you want to start seeing, you know, your full lineup get to their full strength. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a good baseline tournament for us just to see where some of us are coming back from our injuries and, and sicknesses. So um, lots and lots of things to work on. But, uh, again, you know, they competed hard and, and they went out there and, um, you know, did what they wanted to do. Well, and, and that's the other thing, too, because you go back uh, with all the cancellations and everything with the extreme cold, whether winter weather or a combination of both. It, it You guys haven't competed as much as you probably would have liked to over the last mm. three weeks. So being able to get that before a very busy week, and we'll talk yeah. about that here soon, I mean, it's got to be good to get back on the mat like you did. Yeah, I mean, we, we take a nice long break over Christmas break anyways, or over Christmas anyways. So that alone is, is a long enough break for you to be itching to get back on the mat. 
Um, and then when we had a couple things canceled, that extends that, it prolongs that, and then you pair that up with some sicknesses and illnesses. Like, again, we had some girls not wrestle since the beginning of December just because of the cancellations paired with some, some different things that were going on. So really good to get some, some mad time in before, like you were saying, before it gets really busy here coming up. And, and you go – Three uh, days in a, in a row mm-hmm. with uh, wrestling. You'll know, start Thursday against Brandon Valley on the road. You go to Huron on Friday. And then you go to Aberdeen on Saturday. So mm-hmm. there is no even you're, – you're, you're driving back home Thursday. Yeah. You'll you know, stay in somewhere Friday night, which does help a little mm-hmm. bit. But, but I mean, that's, that's a, this is going to be a big and tall, tall, tall ask for these girls over the next three days. Yeah, you know, we just talked about that in practice this morning. Uh, these these three-day stints at a time wrestling is good practice because of the state tournament this year being three days. So – you know, we talked about managing weight three days in a row is a difficult thing for some for some people to do, um, and then and then just competing three days in a row, being able to lock in uh, three competitions every or a competition every day for three days is not easy, just for your mental side of things. So it, it's good to get um, that type of experience right now. And you know, we won't have every girl wrestling every one of those days, but there's a handful of girls that will be competing three days in a row, um, and then the following week is is even busier than that. So. Um, this time of year, it's it's about getting ready for February, and, and that's what we're trying to do. And, and and I guess obviously you want to use that long break that you had Christmas, mm-hmm. and then the the winter weather and everything. You want to use that to your advantage. How can that be used to your advantage with the fact that you're going to have such a, a hard and fast last couple of weeks of the season before you get to regions and before you get to state? You know, I mean, wrestling just the season is just long. It's a long, it's a grind, and it's tough. So um, being able to be at home, being able to practice and really own in on your craft and things like that has given us a you know a really good opportunity to to get better in a lot of areas, uh, mentally and physically. So now that you know that the break is over and we're and we're healed up, we're we're healthy, we're back on track. Um, now we can really start making those strides that because um, it's hard to simulate any competition in practice. You know, you can do different things, but at the end of the day, wrestling people from other towns is different than wrestling your teammates. Um, you know, so we've been working hard and practice in the room and things like that. But now getting able to or being able to show, you know, what we've done in practice out on the mat and competitions is kind of what we're going for. And um, it's exciting for the girls to, to get on the mat against somebody else. You can talk with Coach Matt Thorson here, the Pure Girls Wrestling Team. They'll travel to Brandon Valley on Thursday, here on on Friday for duels and then to Aberdeen on Saturday. And, and so you get a chance to kind of really focus on Brandon Valley, then focus mm-hmm. on here on before all the girls are spread out and, and you know, facing different teams, facing yeah. different uh, girls. So how, how nice is that to get those duels? How do you focus? What, what do you kind of expect from Brandon Valley and here on it? You know, it's, it's really a matter of, and we talk about this a lot, it's, it's getting your mind ready, getting yourself ready, whatever you have to do to, to be ready for a competition. So, you know, against Brandon Valley, at most the girl has one match. Against Huron, the girls got to get ready for one match, um, and and they get everybody gets ready differently. And then you get to Saturday, and it's it's you better be ready because it's it's fast and furious. There's a lot of I mean, there's hundreds of girls there. Um, sometimes you're waiting four hours between a match. Sometimes you might be wrestling thirty minutes after your previous match. So that's why we really talk about taking care of yourself in those tournaments and um, and just knowing how you prepare yourself. Um, individually is important because with all the flurry of what's going on, you know, you might not have a coach in your corner right away. You might not have, you know, the time to go through a normal warm up. So being able to really focus on yourself um, is important on, on tournament days. And it's really, it, it's good practice for, for that on Thursdays and Fridays when you have those duels. And you mentioned too, it, it's very hard to, you know, mentally be prepared and take care of your body, make sure everything's get ready to go. And rest is going to be really hard to do because you're on a bus for yeah. three hours on Thursday, coming back after uh, wrestling, and then another bus trip two hours on Friday, mm-hmm. and then another bus trip to Aberdeen. So then, you know, how how important is rest, and how do you make sure that the girls get the rest that they need uh, as the stretch begins? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, especially, you know, on Thursday, coming back from Brandon Valley, the kids, they got to get up and they got to go to here on the next day. Um, But, you know, that's why we take, you know, as much precaution as we can by instead of coming back after here on and then going to Aberdeen, we'll just go to Aberdeen, you know, try to try to get them a good night's sleep. Granted, it's not at home, but um, at least it saves us some some driving time and 
Um, and again, it's good practice for a state tournament, you know, sleeping in a hotel room, sleeping with roommates and things like that. So, um, like I said, it's all, it's all leading up to February and doing whatever we have to do on and off the mat to prepare ourselves. And, and they know the importance of, of nutrition, hydration, um, sleep, and, and how important all those things are, which gets difficult later on in the year when we are, you're driving all across the, uh, across the state and you're going to competition day after day. Um, but these girls, they do a good job with that. Again, talking with the coach Matt Thorson here, the Pure Girls Wrestling Team. You're closing in uh, right around a month ago before mm-hmm. you get to the before that state tournament. Uh, it starts in in uh, for for Class AA for Class A. Uh, where, where do you like where you're sitting at, uh, and and what you know needs to be better for this team going in the last month of the season? I you know I think like I was saying earlier with you know the baseline of where we were seeing our seeing our full squad out there for the first time in a long time um, at the Pure uh, Tournament. Now it's just it's staying healthy. That's a big part of it, staying healthy, um, keeping the, the bugs out of the room, things like that. And now it's a matter of, you know, we talked about it this morning too, you know, uh, sharpening our swords. You know, what are your strengths? Let's get those, let's get those even stronger. If we have any weaknesses, let's, let's get those to be not weaknesses anymore. Um, so instead of working on a whole bunch of different things to, to put a whole bunch of things in our tool belt, it's let's get better at what we already do. Um, because we are running out of time with a, a number of competitions coming up that really limits our practice time. Um, so a uh, lot of improvement needs to happen and that will happen, especially when we pair that up with all the competitions coming up and that's really good experience for us. So, um, good things are coming and we just got to keep working hard. Now for you, do you like <clears throat> the duels or the tournaments a little bit, especially right, especially <laughs> right now? Uh, do you like the duels because then you get to watch every single wrestler compete or do you like the tournaments where you may not be able to get mm-hmm. to see them but you know that they're getting a lot of matches a lot of reps very quickly yeah it's i mean there's there's pros and cons to both i guess i like the tournaments just because there's so much good wrestling to see and i just really i just sometimes i just sit back and i'm become a fan sometimes just watching these girls compete because i see how hard they work in practice and being able to see them go out on the mat and compete and just you know kind of you know, see what they see what they do. It's it's fun to watch that. So I, I do like the tournaments just because there's so much so much good competition. The duels are great too because it's good it's good for those girls to get the the exposure that they deserve. You know, them being the only matches out there and fans really getting to to pay attention to one match. Um, so there's pros and cons to both, but um, you know, it's you're we're gonna get both of them coming up here. Uh, again, talking with Coach Matt Thorson, <clears throat> Pure Girls Wrestling Team. They are. On the road in Brandon Valley on Thursday, here on on Friday, and then going to Aberdeen for a tournament on Saturday. Uh, overall, what's going to be, as we start wrap, thing up, wrap mm-hmm. things up here, what's going to be the biggest reason to go 2-0 and in duels? We'll talk about the tournament in just a second. But what's going to be the biggest reason for the Govs to go 2-0 and this weekend in duels? Um, you know, just, again, like we talked about, it, it's getting our minds and our bodies ready. Whatever you have to do and, um, you know, continuing on with the rest and the sleep and the nutrition, things like that. Um, but at the end of the day, we step out on the mat. We got to go compete. You know, if you don't get a good night or a good night's sleep the night before, you still got to go wrestle. You got to push all those excuses out of the way and and go compete and work on things or, and do things that we've been working on in practice. You know, stick to stick to their style of wrestling and and control matches, control paces, and um, just be physical, be be aggressive. Well, uh, kind of maybe it leads right into the, almost the same thing uh, for the tournament. That uh, the, the biggest reason for the girls to be successful in that tournament in Aberdeen. Yeah, I mean, some of those girls, you know, are going to be coming off of two nights of consecutive wrestling. It's it's going to be a mental. Sometimes it's more mental than physical type of challenge. Um, so it's being able to kind of block out the the distractions, block out the maybe the dreary eyes and things like that. And um, when it's time to flip that switch, it's we got to flip that switch. And if we you know, take a loss or whatever the case may be, turning the page and getting over it and, and getting ready to go compete because, yes, we need to do whatever we can to, you know, keep climbing the podium and, and get as high as we can, not just for yourself but for the team because as much as it is an individual sport, we do talk a lot about the team aspect of it. And, and I think that's a big motivating factor for a lot of those girls is to compete for a state championship as a, as a team. And for you, you're going to have a busy this mm-hmm. weekend, busy next week. Uh, how, how much fun is it to, to to have those jury eyes for <laughs> you specifically yeah. to, to be able to watch these girls compete and be able to coach? Uh, I know it's going to be a hard mm-hmm. week for you too, but, yeah. but how much fun can this, can this be? Yeah, it, it, it absolutely is. You know, practice is, you know, a beast in and of itself. So watching them, 
go out and compete against other girls. Um, it's just fun. You know, it, the hard work is in practice. That, that's the hard work. That's where you earn all these wins. And, and now they get to go, you know, they get to go. It, it pays off now when you get to go see them on the mat. And, um, you know, it doesn't bother me too much, the, the, the drives and things like that, when knowing you get to go watch them have fun. Um, it, it, it pays off, and it's, it's all worth it in the end. Well, Coach, hey, I appreciate the time. It's always good talking to you. We, we've got a couple more of these before mm-hmm. you get to the state tournament, so I appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend, and we'll talk again soon. All right, thank you. That is Matt Thorson, the Pure Girls Wrestling Team, back with more coaches quote after this here on KCCR and online at kccrradio.com. Radio.com. Radio. Ah, why am I so sore? There are everyday moments. Whoa, hey, hold the ladder! Hold the ladder! Oh. Oh. Yeah? That hurt. And there are epic moments. Slide, 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 Go slide, 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 Class of 1995! When a moment creates a health need, visit the experts at Avera Orthopedics. We're moving health forward so you can tell the story. Learn more at avera.org slash orthopedics. No one likes to have electrical problems, but when they happen, call Todd's Electric at 223-2518. With over 30 years of experience, Todd's Electric can handle any type of electrical problem, whether it's residential, commercial, or agriculture. Their knowledgeable staff knows and understands the importance of your home, business, or ag facility and are prepared to help. That number again is 223-2518. Todd's Electric Service, serving the Pier Fort Pier area. Todd's Electric Service, the line to power. It takes hard work to reach goals. It's a truth that applies to more than just sports. It also goes for your financial goals. You work hard for your money. You deserve an investment strategy that lines up with your game plan. Your local Edward Jones Financial Advisor can help. If your investments aren't getting you closer to the win, visit edwardjones.com or stop by your local peer area Edward Jones office for a financial review. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm playing for real. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. What play should I call now? Maybe corner three. He's hot. He is hot. Keep feeding that guy. Now back to Coach's Corner with KCCR award-winning sports director, John Winkler. And as we welcome you back inside the KCCR studios here on this Wednesday night, we want to thank our coaches, Steve Steele of the Hawaii Capitals, also Matt Thorson of the Pure Girls Wrestling Team. And coming up this, week, this tomorrow and this weekend, we've got plenty of Pure Governor basketball for you. Tomorrow night, the girls will take on Lakota Tech at home. We'll have coverage starting at 6.30 and tip off at 7 o'clock. And then on Friday, the Governor boys will be on the road to Harrisburg with coverage at 6.30 and tip off at 7 o'clock. Then Saturday to O'Gorman we go for the uh, Governor boys again, cover at 12.30 and a tip off at 1 o'clock. We'll have those three games over the next three days here on KCCR. And of course, all those games are available to watch on YouTube at KCCR Sports. We've got the NFL coming up on Sunday, the AFC and NFC Championships. We start with the AFC Championship, the Baltimore Ravens uh, hosting the Kansas City Chiefs, and then the San Francisco 49ers will host the Detroit Lions in the NFC Championship game. Uh, Those two games will be heard here on KCCR on Sunday. Uh, We've also got college basketball coming up uh, Saturday night as well uh, here on KCCR. So that will wrap things up for another edition of Coach's Corner here this week. We'll return next week, the final one of January. Get into our final month of uh, the month of Coach's Corner coming up in February as we'll have a couple more shows going into that final month. So again, thanks to our coaches and Steve Steele, the White Capitals, and Matt Thorson of the uh, Pure Girls Wrestling Team will return with Coach's Corner next week right here on KCCR. KCCR starting at 5.30. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. You've been listening to Coach's Corner on KCCR and online at kccr.com. Coach's Corner is brought to you by Todd's Electric, Shane's Pharmacy, Lamb Motors, Avera, Owahi Federal Credit Union, Edward Jones Financial, Graham Tire, Kruger Contracting, CHS River Plains, Gales Gas, Bank West, and Capital City Ford, Lincoln, and Toyota. To hear the show again, head to YouTube at KCCR Sports for shows at any time. This has been a special presentation of Riverfront Broadcasting Sports, Central South Dakota's sports leader.